Hello friends, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I have here this uh, Samsung Galaxy A42. This is a new model in the market and this is the model number right here. A426U and the problem on it is the screen. So today in this video I will show you how to replace the screen on this new model. It's new at this time but it may be old after a couple years. <laughs> All right, so uh, to replace the screen on this one, we will need a new screen. Make sure you order the screen with the frame, not just the, uh, not just the glass. Make sure you order it with the frame with everything. You may pay a little bit extra, but it's, it's worth it, you know. All right, this is the first thing. Then we will need a double sticky adhesive, a nice semi, a Phillips screwdriver, a cutter, a tweezers and a plastic like this make sure it's thin not thick and the last thing is this plastic spudger I think that's all what we will need but for you you need to watch the video from the beginning to the end to have an idea about how this repair will be done then you can decide if you can do it by yourself or you need to give it to a specialist all right, so let's uh, put this to the side and we will start. By the way, this back here, it looks like it's a glass, but um, for, uh, not, it's not a glass. So just you can use, you don't have to use the heat gun to heat it up because if you use the heat gun to heat it up, to break it up, you may damage, you may melt it, you know. So just use uh, directly, you don't have to use the heat gun, just use the IC semi and go here to this corner and insert it and make a small gap like this and once you have this small gap like that you can use this plastic and you will insert it here then you remove this one and you continue the job with this plastic and just you're gonna slide it all around the edges until you release it Okay, make sure that this plastic doesn't stuck inside in some parts or in some components. Opa. All right, so it's open now. So I'm just removing the plastic that I mean the adhesive that is still here on the frame because we don't need it. I will uh, clean it uh, later on once we finish all right so now here we have mini screws we're gonna one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen screw so this is the first one and this is the last screw All right, all the screws are the same, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. And make sure you don't uh, forget any screw here. And then now what we're gonna do, we need to remove the SIM card from here. The SIM card is right here. We need the SIM ejector. And this is a thing that I forgot to mention. So I'm gonna just pop out the SIM card. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I will go to this spot here where the sim card is this is the weak point from where to start you can just use your nail and go from here see i'm just using my nail you can if you cannot use your nail you can use a spudger like this or you can use the guitar pick i don't know if i have one here i have one here you can use this one you can just slide it around the edges until you release the back frame or the middle frame okay i release the middle frame and then the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna disconnect the battery because always disconnect the battery before you start work on the phone and the battery will be the last thing that we will connect back all right so here this cable here we need to disconnect it from here so this cable has uh, the sub and has the main the main goes to the motherboard the sub go to the charging port by the way the cable is divided in two here 
then we're gonna disconnect this one and we have this little part here I don't know what is it for actually I know I just don't have much details about it it's uh, this is for the wireless and uh, that's all what I can say and uh, let me see yeah then I have these two cables here the blue one and I think this are uh, this part here is for the 5G if I'm not mistaken yeah I think this is the 5G antenna it has two one here and one here all right so what uh, what else we need to remove this disconnect the camera front facing camera cable and usually the samsung phones always they have one screw on the motherboard this black screw make sure you remember the spot from where you take it off it's right here in this golden spot all right so now i will remove the front facing camera and then I will see if I can lift up the motherboard. I removed it. So what I'm gonna do now, I will put the motherboard here and see if it will fit normal. Okay, it fits perfectly because sometimes if you have a phone which is like from Verizon and you are using the screen that is ma that is compatible with T-Mobile or AT&T, it may there may be like some differences here this happens like on the, the previous phones but it still happens sometimes it, it's very minor uh, issue but sometimes it may you may need to order the exact model for the exact company or the exact carrier that you are using all right so now the motherboard is good so what i'm going to do i will transfer everything that is here on this uh, part before i put the motherboard so the first thing we're going to start with the earpiece the earpiece has this little cable here we need to go underneath and pray it up and then from here we need to go underneath from here and lift it up make sure don't damage this one go all the way underneath and lift it up gently if you feel like you are cutting it off or like separating it just make sure you do it correctly All right, so remove this one. So directly from here to here. Okay, then let's see if we have anything else that we need to remove. Okay, you see this these things? Those are like uh, adhesive or like pieces of tape. You can remove them, put them back here. But uh, my my screen is already comes with with them. And let me see what else. Yeah, so the the vibrator now go underneath always there is a gap somewhere from where you can get underneath okay uh -huh. let me see we have this black square here i will see if i can remove it the function of this black squares and these things they are cooling and also this thing here they are cooling the motherboard in case it's overheats they are absorbing the heat All right, so I put, I make sure that this sticks exactly here. And now I need to check if there is like any proximity sensors, uh, gaskets here. I don't see any here. So now I can put the motherboard. But before, let me remove this plastic, which is covering the camera lens, front facing camera lens. Then we can put the motherboard. 
and then I will put back the camera lens, uh, the front facing camera. Alright, so now we will transfer this. This part here has two screws, one here and another one here and we just need to lift it up gently pull it gently won't use any force okay release it then we can just directly put it back here and then we can connect this cable and the two screws back I think also before I need to put the motherboard screw because it's underneath this cable so we're gonna put these two screws here so the first screw is right here in this corner and this is the second one. Oh, I forgot to put the black screw I always Try to put it first and I just forgot. Alright, so now we will connect this cable. Make sure the cable is matching perfectly with its connection on the back, I mean on the motherboard, and snap it. Alright, so now we're gonna move to the next part. The next part is the charging port. We need to transfer it here. And here we have you see this little cable? This one is for the fingerprint scanner it looks like a small camera but it's not there is a gap here so I can go underneath so I remove this one and then I will see these cables here the blue and the white cable I will pull them out from here remember the blue cable was in the bottom and then I will remove this screw from here And then we can lift up this and put it directly here. So make sure that this cable, the blue cable and the white cable are inside this channel. And then I will put this screw back to hold the charging port. To not keep moving while I'm fixing these cables here so here these cables they have a connection here on the motherboard so make sure that this these blue cables are I mean these cables are matching perfectly with the with this circle because if they are not and you put and uh, you put some pressure on them you will damage the connection there then you will have to replace it if it's the cable it's not gonna be a problem but the the connection on the motherboard will need some micro soldering and it's very it's not easy to find someone who is doing the micro soldering at this time maybe in some big cities yes so this is the fingerprint uh, scanner I will just put it here and connect the cable all right so now I will remove this it has two screws there is a screw here and another screw right here then we're gonna just pull this gently lift it up sometimes you may use something to go underneath here and pray it up I got it then we're just gonna insert it here
all right so now before i put this before i connect this one here i will need to transfer the battery so this is the battery so the battery we can go underneath by using this ic sign and they will see if i can lift it up so it has like strong adhesive underneath but sometimes it's easy to just spray it up and lift it up from here and some people are using the the alcohol to uh, loosen the adhesive which is holding it in the bottom for me i try not to use the alcohol because i want to keep the same adhesive so i will just spray it up a little bit make sure don't cut the cable uh, i mean the battery don't poke it don't bend it slowly slowly until you get it out from here et voilà so when the battery shows this kind of wrinkles what you can do just use a, use a pen like this and smoothen the wrinkles or flatten the wrinkles yeah he was trying to get it out with the adhesive on it but unfortunately the adhesive stays on the other part so I'm just gonna remove this adhesive which stays here because I'm gonna put another adhesive now you see I almost make some damages on the battery here thank god I didn't poke it nothing gonna happen but you just need to be completely careful you know and because if you poke it sometimes you may like it may explode you know you need to be careful all right so now what i'm gonna do i will use this adhesive and then we put two strips one here And another strip right here I'm removing the paper or the tape that is I mean the plastic that is covering the adhesive so I remove the first one and this is the second one then I can just install it here make sure you connect this cable first just to make sure it's matching with its connection like this then let it sit flat all right so now once the battery is perfectly aligned here i will disconnect this one then i will reconnect i mean i will connect this little part here and let me see i think that's all so now the last thing is connecting the battery and no before i connect the battery i need to put connect this cable i disconnect the battery because sometimes if the battery is connected and you try to connect this one incorrectly you may make short on the motherboard and that can cause the something to happen you may, it may short your phone you know so i connect this cable here 
make sure always the main is on the motherboard and then the bottom part okay I think that's it so now we can put the let me just take another look here if I, in case I forgot something sometimes if your screen doesn't come with the buttons on the side like the one I have here you can transfer this one from here to here mm, I think that's all all right so now I'm gonna put the I'm gonna connect the battery and then I will put the middle frame start from the bottom and just snap it this little piece here needs to be removed Okay, make sure it's completely sealed and then we're gonna start putting the screws back so this is the first and this is the last screw okay so now we need to clean the frame make sure there is no adhesive on it and then we're gonna put the new adhesive we're gonna put a strip from here to here make sure the adhesive is not overlapping the edges make sure it's exactly inside the edge and then we're gonna cut this perfectly around here and then we're gonna put another strip on the other side another strip here and the last one will be here okay so now I'm gonna use this spudger to make sure that the adhesive sticks very well Alright, so now I'm going to remove the plastic which is covering the adhesive or the paper because this uh, sometimes this can be a plastic and it can be a paper. This is a paper in my case now. This is a paper. Alright, so... And this is the last one here and then we're gonna go to the to the back frame and we will remove all the adhesive that is here we will clean it very well make sure don't leave any kind of adhesive 
if you need this back frame to stick very well and looks look perfect all right so now we're gonna just glue this here perfectly align it and let it stick as it's supposed to and this is the same card don't forget to put it back Alright, so now we need to turn on the phone and see if it will work. Hopefully it has some juice on it. Alright, as you see this is the name of the phone, A42 5G. And uh, that's it. I hope that you learned something from this video. If you do, please hit the thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment area. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. Maybe one day you will need someone to answer a, a technical question that you may have all right see you in the next video and have a wonderful time peace